Omari wa moi shiniru. You know what time it is? It's the Macho Family thing. I can't call it an hour because we don't do this for an hour. We do it at tops for about 15 minutes. Isn't that right, Macho Girl number one? That's right. What about you, Macho Girl number two? You snacking on some stuff. It's you. It's me. It's her, it's her, here in the Walmart parking lot with Nebraska. <coughs> I really need to get a new gig. And it's a special occasion date where we're right back down to getting some herbies. <coughs> yes. You'll see mommy on here. Unfortunately, no. Macho Mom is not here because she's she's at work. Oh, Macho say it. Look at this. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Ew. It's a pamble. It's a pamble. Anyway. Welcome to Macho Dad and the Macho Girls. What I do? Oh, uh, yeah. So how you doing today? It's got extra sprinkles today. I'm wanting to try and grow a beard again. I'm gonna try and keep this stuff shaved. Do you see how red it is? Pro swear. Yesterday after I got done with work, I told much old mom, I'm like, I'm tired, starting to turn into I'm, well. They said, I'm becoming half tomato. Been long yet. And the weird part is that when I, I could touch it, I could touch it, and I could touch it, and it'd be just fine. I could just scratch my head, and I'd be just fine. I'd just... Scratch that. That doesn't feel good. That doesn't feel good. I'm just gonna put my hat back on. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> anyway. So. Who made it in a truck? That's actually treating me pretty good. But wait to look, that look at it. I'm getting paid to work out. Get fit and sweat my butt off. Oh yeah. Macho girl number one slamming down that chocolate milk. Macho girl number two coming mm. on half of a mm. chicken strap. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Hi. Oh yeah. Hi. Say, oh yeah. yeah. What? What could you say? Oh yeah. Okay. 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 Oh, yeah. Face McGee. So yeah, it's been rather really interesting. I worked all but Thursday and today. Most likely won't work tomorrow because we ain't got no babysitters for the Macho Girls. And Mommy works from noon to eight. Did you drop something? What'd you drop? Okay. Oh, you dropped your sippy cup? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. 
By the way, that was Taylor Swift. I do not own this music. Yeah. We just like to put it on because it's the machoist of the machoist. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Someday she'll do it again. Oh yeah. Monday was tough, tough as nails. I had to lift the piano. Of course I had help. And we had to use a four, four, a little four-wheeler wheel thing that just. Oh, oh yeah. So we used one of those. It was pretty tough. And then, uh, what was it? I think it was Tuesday. We had it a little bit easier. It was just really time consuming. It's a bunch of stuff. But it was all right because we got a nice image. Oh yeah, I just like that sandwich. <laughs> oh yeah. But um, then we had another one. Second job of the day on Tuesday. Cause sometimes we have one, sometimes we have two. It just depends on what's available and how long it takes for us to get done with each job. <laughs> real, I need to get like a new gimmick. I need to start impersonating Ric Flair or something. Woo! Oh yeah! No, I, just, I just like saying oh yeah a lot. I mean, I like to say woo a lot, but you know. Wrestling. Anyway! So, the second job consisted of totes upon totes upon totes upon <gasps> totes. And it was, that wasn't the hard part. Well, the hard part was, was constantly going upstairs, downstairs, upstairs, downstairs. They were on the top floor and there was two sets of steps, uh, stairs, and each set had to be, had to be about 20 steps each. This, this is not meant for 20 stairs. 20, 40 plus stairs. No. No. Oh, tall. She don't be. There you go. It's okay, I got you covered, little girl. Take it! You want some curly fries? No. Are you sure? No! Got some nice, tasty curly fries. Yeah. Oh, yeah! I got a fry. It's yummy. Oh. Uh, oh. Probably just sort of stick with the potato cakes. Anyway. So that was difficult. But the best part about it is, is that the place that they were going to move in had an elevator. Oh, yeah. I love me as an elevator. Then on uh, Wednesday, there was this guy who was moving out of his house. It was a gorgeous house. I have two bedrooms on top, two bedrooms at the bottom. Really nice, really nice. Anyway, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad at all. But then we moved to his house. Oh my goodness. It was, it was amazing. It was practically like a mansion. It was humongous and it was all built by them. Oh yeah. I'm gonna have cancer by the time I'm 30. Anyway, very nice place. And I told him too, I was all like, this house is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous, and if I ever damaged anything that belonged to them, I would take personal. I would take it personally. I would, I would weep if I were to damage their stuff, even if they didn't care. 
like, oh man, it's no biggie. There's no biggie. I'd be like, I'm sorry. But yeah, Thursday I head off, and then yesterday we were part of another four man team, and it was. It was, it was not good, but it was so good enough that he gave us a pretty good tip. I was very happy about that. And today I was on call, but they didn't call me. They did text me, however. They wanted me to come in tomorrow, but, you know, I can't. But, uh, it's all good. Damn, they ain't upset. And it's all good on my part. Who that? So did you guys check out the Fiddlers? Oh yeah. Now go check out the Earl's fam. They're cool. They're silly. Like me and Macho Mom. Oh yeah! And they got their Macho Dogs. Oh yeah. Sunday we'll have a Macho Puppy. And get a wolf. And get a wolf. What does a kitty cat make? A kitty cat, what does it make? What does it say? No, it says meow. Meow. So what does the kitty cat make? What does a kitty cat make? Does it go meow? Meow. So what does the kitty cat make? What? Oh, there we go. There we go. What does a puppy dog make? Good job. What does a horse make? Good job. And what does a cow make? What does a cow make? Does it? No, it does not. It goes moo. Moo. What does a bird make? What does a birdie make? It goes. What about a duck? Just like your TV show, Sarah and Duck. Sarah and Duck. Quack. He goes quack. Quack, quack, quack. This is the best. I tell you what, guys. My ultimate goal in life is to become a pro wrestler. But! Well, to add on to that, a pro wrestler's dream, most of them, is to headline WrestleMania. <coughs> so yeah, my dream as a pro wrestler it's the headline WrestleMania. But I tell you what, I'll take up, I'll take a mug that says best dad ever. That's seeing my name up in lights at WrestleMania. I would rather get the little picture that, sit, that has the macaroni shaped kitty cat or someone like that macaroni art i'd rather receive that from my children than receive the wwe world heavyweight championship after beating the <coughs> biggest boss in the world oh yeah that's how much these two little girls mean to me but anyway we are going to end it. Because this is when it starts getting crazy. It's 15 minutes. Say bye-bye, macho girl number one. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye, macho girl number two. Weave. Weave. Weave the camera. She's not going to wait to the camera. Bye.